Welcome to Japan-Games.com. This is the Nintendo Laser Birdie from Japan. It was released for the Nintendo Super Famicom system. It was made in conjunction with Rico Japan, and most people consider this to be a Rico release instead of a Nintendo release. It was, it was released on April 10, 1995. Price was about $450, and it was limited to about 3,500 pieces total. What the set is, is it's a golf club, a sensor mat, and a cartridge game. The sensor mat has two strip sensors on both sides. It also has a sensor that's in the middle, which is what the dot is. And it has a little half golf ball on the left-hand side. That's a sensor as well. And you swing the golf club over the mat, as you would a regular golf club. And it registers your shot and produces the result on the screen. And there are also a few option buttons on the map. You can use these instead of using the Super Famicom controller. Use your feet to change the options. The club is battery powered, and there's a slit at bottom. That's where the laser sensor exits. The game is called Get in the Hole. It was never released as its own game. It was only released with this set, so there probably aren't too many of these floating around anymore. You actually have to use the golf sensor with it. Now, you can't use the regular Super Famicom controller to actually swing. You can change options with a controller, but you can't actually play. And a little video sample when it starts up, you'll see the Rico screen first. And Super Famicom screen is next. And we have a few different options. Game menu is the first one. Lesson mode. Stretching. Member menu, club set, and sound. There's a little bit of the standard Nintendo music. We'll do game mode. You can do stroke play, match play, skins match. We'll do stroke play. One person. Choose a person. choose a T, champion T, regular T. It's pretty straightforward. You just keep hitting the A button until you reach the course. You really don't need to know any kind of Japanese or anything. First option is placement of the ball left or right. You can use the Super Famicom controller for this or you can use your feet and make the adjustments on the sensor pad. And you change the angle of your shot left or right. And now you need to be standing uh, in front of the sensor pad and what you're going to do is just take a, a full swing like you do a regular golfer. I'm going to do a light swing just to make sure I don't screw it up. And it only travels about 20 yards. If you want to get any kind of distance, you really need to do a full golf swing. It's not like a toy or any kind of kid's golf swing. You actually have to get some speed behind it. it shows you your swing data, distance and angle and speed and you just basically continue along as you would a regular golf game. You can choose to continue which is the new first option or game mode and we'll go to lesson mode this is the most interesting part. You can choose a virtual reality setting or you can choose to take lessons on the golf course. Uh, choose your player. Here you can choose <clears throat> here you can choose wind speed and wind direction. We'll just keep everything the same and we'll just do kind of a light straight shot again. It'll show you your speed data after. And it also shows you the swing orbit which shows the position of the club striking the ball. You can see it was a straight shot somewhat. Next I'll turn the club face outward and that should produce a slice to the right. Here's the data. And if you look at the orbit, the club face should be facing away from you. There it is. And that produces the slice. And next I'm going to turn the golf club inwards. And that should produce a hook to the left. And the swing orbit shows the club facing inward, which produces the slice. 
So it's a very accurate system depending on how you're holding the club, <clears throat> depending on how you're swinging the club, depending on how the ball is hit by the club. You can actually miss the ball completely. You have to be close enough uh, to get it to register on the sensor pad, but far enough away from the ball to where you miss. I think I took a couple swings here before I could produce a miss. Yeah, just like my regular golf game, without the profanity. You can see the club head completely misses the ball. What happens next is it takes you automatically to a golf clinic. If you make too much of a bad shot, it'll just take you here next. Since I missed the ball, it'll give me a set of options for improving my shot. First one is stance. <clears throat> and it's telling me to take, uh, take about a quarter step back away from the ball. There are a couple more tips. The next one is, I believe, feet position, lining up your heels. So depending on how you miss the shot, it'll take you to that particular clinic. Uh, if it had taken me to the clinic after my slice, it would have given me options for correcting a slice. I think the first option is changing the grip, and it shows you different ways to grip. Next, you can go to stretching mode. <coughs> this is a very Japanese mode, because you just do stretches for 5 or 10 or 15 seconds. If you can imagine people sitting in their home doing golf stretches before turning on their Super Famicom. Like I said, it's just a Japanese thing. And I'm actually fast-forwarding through these. Usually it counts down from 15 to 0. So you can do the game, you can do lesson and stretching. The other modes are basically changing the settings. You can change... that's asking me if I want to save the game. You can change the people and their names and their handicaps and etc. And there's the club set. And here you just choose the different types of clubs you want in the person's bag. So you can modify a lot of different things, and we'll play the music one more time. And if you go down to the bottom, that will turn the... If you go down to the bottom, that will turn the game off. And it will remind you to turn the club off, because the club has its own on-off switch. So it's just reminding you to turn the golf club off. That's the basic game. <coughs> Uh, if you can see the box, the person is standing in front of his TV set. That's obviously a pretty big TV screen he has. Uh, but the pad is hooked up to the Super Famicom, and he's standing in front of the pad taking a swing with the club. And depending on what club you're using, if you're using a wood, you're standing further back. If you're using a putter, you're standing almost directly over the actual pad. But it's a fun system. You can use it to play games with four people. You can use it for actual training. Uh, just one of those unique products from Japan only. And this is going to be available for sale starting February 8th on my eBay store, Japan-Games. And please visit Japan-Games.com. I have a lot of information and photos about unique Japanese systems. About two or 3,000 photos total. So, thank you.